After finishing photographing at the Coquille River Lighthouse, Shelly and I headed back to the car and down US 101 across the Coquille River to Bandon. As Shelly and I were driving back to the Bandon State Natural Area, it began to mist. By the time we stopped at the overlooked parking area, it began to rain a little bit. This wasn't going to deter me. I was bound and determined to get a photograph of Face Rock here. We got out, got our gear out, walked out to the overlook. I found this composition of Face Rock and I had to keep wiping my lens clean with a lens cloth. Luckily, we took microfiber towels because we knew we were going to be in the rainforest and along the ocean. So I had that handy too to drop over the gear uh, when I wasn't actually making a photograph. So here's my first composition from the Bandon State Natural Area, Face Rock. After walking around the overlook for a little while, Shelly and I determined it wasn't a good day to get down on the beach with the high wind and mix of precipitation that was falling. In addition to that, we were running short on time because that morning we had left near Yahat, stopped at the Hasida Head Lighthouse for the morning, and then photographed Umqua and the Coquille River Lighthouses on the way down and we were running short on time to get to Brookings for the night. So I found another composition from the Overlook looking south into Devil's Kitchen. And with the weather elements that we had that day, I think it made for a really good um, composition and subject matter. Thanks for joining us on our adventure down the Pacific Coast and our time here at Abandoned State Natural Area is done. We got to head down to Brookings for the night and then that will put us within about an hour of Redwoods National and State Parks, which is the next one. So if you haven't yet done so, please subscribe, ding the bell for future notifications and if you like the video, give us a thumbs up and we'll see you in Redwoods next time.